This is the X20S transmitter. It's part of the flagship tandem series of transmitters from FR Sky. It has a large 800 by 480 backlit LCD touchscreen, high precision CNC hall sensor gimbals with 10 ball bearings. What possibly could make the X20S even better? Let's find out. Before we get any deeper into the video, I would like to say that FR Sky is not sponsoring this video and they were kind enough to let me borrow the gear so I could make this video. So thank you FR Sky. FR Sky, Frisky, Free Sky, whatever you want to call it, put a lot of thought into the design in the tandem series of transmitters and the X20S is a prime example. All the buttons, sliders, and switches are within easy reach, has haptic vibration as well as voice notification. I've even heard that the Ethos operating system is just as robust as OpenTX, but personally I've never used OpenTX, but I did find Ethos real simple and straightforward to use my first time out. What really grabbed my attention about the X20S was its ability to use 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz simultaneously when using a tandem series receiver, such as the TDR-10. I'm not aware of any other transmitters on the market that have this capability, and if you happen to know of any, please let me know down in the comments. The X20S retails between $450 and $530, and in my opinion, it's just an overall rock solid transmitter. If you'd like to check out the complete specs list, links will be down in the description below. I know you're probably thinking, man, that's an awesome transmitter, but what can make it even better? Meet the iRange X4 4-in-1 multi-protocol module. By adding the IRX4 to the X20S's expansion slot, you unlock the transmitter's ability to bind with receivers from other manufacturers like Futaba, uh, Spectrum, Flysky, and a whole host of others. In fact, the IRX4 is compatible with 125 different communication protocols, and as more of those scripts are developed, you can simply download them to your computer and then flash them over to the module thanks to the micro USB port. The IRX4 retails for about $40, and if you'd like to see the incomplete list of the communication protocols, Links will be down in the description. Let me show you how quick and easy it really is to set up a new airplane with this combo. First thing you want to make sure is that your multi-protocol module is inserted into the expansion slot on the back of the transmitter and that it's fully seated. Then turn on your transmitter and if you have any warnings or any information on there simply hit OK. Then to set up an airplane just click on the airplane icon at the bottom of the screen or you can press the button on the front of the transmitter that's labeled MDL for model. Then on the next screen what's really nice is everything is well laid out. You've got model select, flight modes, mixers, trims, RF systems. And on the next screen you'll want to press model select and then press the plus button. The next on the guide it will ask you what type of aircraft you want to set up. And since airplane is already selected we'll just hit the next button. And then we'll be asked, how many engines does your airplane have? You can go up from one to four. And in this case, we're only doing a single channel. Press next. On the next screen, it'll ask you, how many channels do you need for the ailerons and flaps? For this example, we're only gonna use one channel for the ailerons and we're not gonna have any flaps. So click on the next button. And on the next screen, it's gonna ask you, what type of tail does your airplane have? Is it a traditional tail or is it a V-tail? For our example, we're just gonna use traditional. Press the next button, and then it'll ask you how many channels do you need for elevators and the rudder. In this case, we're gonna do one for each one. And then hit the next button, and then just tap on the name section and give it a name. For this instance, I am gonna be binding to a 10-year-old plus tactic receiver that uses the SLT protocols, so I'm gonna name it SLT. And then hit enter. Then you have the option of uploading your own picture for your airplane. Then click the next button. Your plane is now set up. Now in order to be able to use the multi-protocol module, we need to make some settings changes. So press on the airplane icon again. Navigate over to RF system and press that icon. Then you'll see two options, one for internal mode and one for external. Since we're going to be using the module, we want to do the external module, so press on that. Then you want to make sure that state is on. That's what gives power to the module. And then down below that you'll see type and in the left hand box you want to go ahead and click on it and scroll down until you see the multi protocol module. In the right hand box you want to press on it and then scroll until you find the particular receiver that you're trying to bind to. In this case we're going to be binding to an SLT. 
Then you want to scroll down to where it says bind. Press on bind. bind and then put your receiver in bind mode. And that's just how quick and easy it is. The tactic receiver is now bound to my transmitter. This addition to the X20S makes this the ultimate transmitter for pilots looking to fly binding flies from Spectrum, WL Toys, or just about anything else on the market with one transmitter. And the same goes for seasoned pilots who want to upgrade their transmitters but dread the thought of having to buy all new receivers. The one caveat I will have to mention if you want to take advantage of the 2.4 and 900 megahertz frequencies simultaneously, you're going to have to buy a tandem series compatible receiver and currently the TDR10 is running about $60 and if you'd like to check out the TDR10 links will be in the description below oh and one other thing if you're interested in getting into the hobby and you want to start off on the right foot I encourage you to check out this video right here